What if I told you that life on Earth won't end because of a killer asteroid or climate change? Nope. According to a groundbreaking NASA-supported study, the true apocalypse will come from something far more silent, the total loss of oxygen. Wait, oxygen? Isn't that the one thing we literally can't live without? That's exactly the point. A Japanese research team has simulated Earth's far future, and what they found is chilling, a slow, irreversible process that will leave the planet gasping for air. So how does Earth actually run out of oxygen, and who survives when the rest of us are gone? Researchers at Toho University in Japan, using NASA's advanced atmospheric models, simulated what Earth's environment will look like billions of years from now. The culprit? The sun itself. As the sun grows older, it becomes hotter and brighter. That extra energy disrupts the fragile chemical balance of our atmosphere. Eventually, temperatures rise so much that plants, the backbone of oxygen production, begin to die off. Without plants, photosynthesis breaks down. Oxygen levels begin to plummet. And with no fresh oxygen being made, the air slowly becomes unbreathable. This isn't a sudden disaster. It's a long, creeping decline. First, the forests vanish, then oceans acidify, fish die, ecosystems collapse, animals disappear. The air becomes thinner, more toxic, richer in methane, poorer in life. Human life, dependent on oxygen, has no chance in this suffocating world. The once vibrant earth, lush, green, and full of noise, goes silent. And yet life doesn't entirely vanish. Anaerobic organisms, tiny microbes that don't rely on oxygen, adapt and endure. In the shadows of extinction, they survive and thrive in extreme conditions. What's left is a strange version of Earth, hot, toxic, oxygenless, but not quite dead. In the end, it won't be explosions or invasions, it'll be silence. Oxygen, the invisible force that built civilizations, will vanish, and so will we. But life, in its stubborn resilience, will hold on. In the shadows, in the heat, in the toxic air, microbes will continue the story, just without us. It's not a reason to panic. This is billions of years away, but it is a reminder. Earth is temporary. Life is fragile. And every breath we take is borrowed time. If that blew your mind, hit like and subscribe for more unexpected science stories. You won't want to miss the next one.